I can vote on dead people. I'm sure his vote was counted. <laughs> Caitlin Bennett is one of the worst internet personalities of our modern time. If you haven't heard of her, basically she's just a knockoff, less educated Ben Shapiro. She goes around on the streets trying to own the libs, stumping and confusing them as they're on their way to work or the grocery store to really catch them at their best moments when they don't have a debate prepared to debate against somebody who does it for a living. Because God knows Caitlyn can hardly win an argument with a random person she pulls off the street, much less somebody who actually has time to prepare. And even if she does win the argument, which in her eyes is just confusing, the other person. She never actually proves anything because all of her arguments are based in falsehoods. Her entire act relies on people not fact-checking her and the people she argues with not having a work-cited sheet to back up all their views while they're on their way to the bank. And if people do show her proof, well, she'll just strawman her way out of it and then say that it's just the mainstream media trying to silence the oppressed conservative. But all of her brain-dead followers don't actually care that she's not truly winning any arguments, that she's really just lying and, in turn, proving that many of her ideas and stances have no validity or true reason, all they care about is her owning the libs. Now before we get to the main attraction of this video, I wanted to show a couple of clips that really showcase what I'm talking about. How her argument style is just to lie and deny. Um, I don't like the things he says about certain groups of people, I don't like- Like what? Uh, like Mexicans coming here are rapists and Wait, can you give me that, that quote? I don't think he said that. He did say that actually in a speech and I would be more than happy to look that up for you too. He was talking about MS-13 gang members. He never called Mexicans coming here. He, that, did, he was specifically he talking said, about MS-13. Yeah, Unless you simp for MS-13 gang members. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Well, there's that quote you were looking for. And if you want to keep hanging on to the whole he was talking about MS-13 gang members bullshit, well, he finished off that quote by saying that he's sure some of them are good people, so uh, maybe he's the simp for MS-13. Have you Trump seen saying his he actual can grab butthole pussy. to know that that's really his butthole? I don't think so. so Would that, you like to see? That's really silly argument. Is that decent? This is part of the discourse. This is it decent? That's a decent. decent I, I don't take pictures of my butthole and upload them online. Now this is just another pure lie in the face of the American people. Well, I guess there is some truth to it. She didn't post the picture of her butthole. And I must commend that there was a slight obstruction in the view of the butthole. So I suppose that it cannot be categorized as pure butthole photography, but... It's close enough for me. To really hammer home the delusion of this sad woman, we're gonna go through this video titled Trump supporters aren't giving up hope. The media has no stance of telling who the hell is president. No one does except for the constitutional right of them telling you that you're inaugurated in as president. So technically, as of right now, Joe Biden is not president of this country. Uh, yeah? That's, that, that's correct. Literally nobody is arguing over if Trump is still the president right now. If you could describe this election in one word, what the heck would you say? Hmm. A lie. Pardon me, Socrates. Don't mean to interrupt your deep thinking or anything, but uh, that's two words. Make America great again! I'm not surprised that Joe Biden won, but like, I don't know, I'm also am kind of surprised, I guess. I don't know, just like, if you even look at the map, it's like literally 50-50. Yep, uh, that, that, that's how the Electoral College works. Really showcasing that the best minds are truly on your side, aren't you, Caitlin? And it's just, it don't well, seem right, like. Does it seem right that Joe Biden got five million more votes than Barack Obama did in 2008? I really don't get this argument. Trump got more votes than Obama did too. And voting for Obama, with Biden as his vice president, was like voting for Biden. So I'm sure majority of Obama voters went out and voted for Biden. Probably rigged. We don't know about the, uh, the mail we'll you know? See. We'll see what People happens. probably throwing out ballots. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think, do you think, if you had to say right now, yes or no, do you think there is some type of fraud? Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. Because I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm just kind of saying whatever. But when we look at Trump's rallies and Joe Biden's rallies, yeah. Yeah. how does this make sense? The numbers, I think, don't add up. 
Well, yeah, when one group of people is too stupid to believe in an airborne virus that is especially hard to control within large crowds, it's really not that surprising that that group of people will continue to gather in large crowds, while everyone else who is smart will not gather in large crowds. Not the hottest argument there. There's a lot that I want to say about the election that Facebook would fact check me for saying. If you want to see my raw, uncensored opinion and behind the scenes footage from here at the beach, go to libertyhangout.tv. That might be the most delusional and brain dead marketing strategy I've ever seen. Everything I say is a lie and websites like to point that out. So come to my website where I won't point it out. Coming into this election, did you think they were gonna try to pull some fishy stuff or did you think it was gonna be fair? Yeah, cause I've never I've never seen one, I, I don't have any friends or anybody on my Snapchat or on social media that support Biden. I, and then whenever you look at it, he won. Holy shit, stop the count. This woman doesn't have any Snapchat friends who support Biden. This must mean no one in the country supports him. It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. I think it's all just a lie. Because if you go and look on Trump's Twitter, he's got 87 million followers and Biden has like 15 million. This woman must be a decorated Harvard scholar. Only the greatest minds can comprehend that elections are decided by Twitter follower count. Trump's rallies, if we were to total them up, every rally he's had in the past probably couple weeks, I'd say we'd be pretty close to at least half a million people at these rallies. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden had people in cars that couldn't even fill up a stadium, couldn't even mm -hmm. do anything like that. I mean, Statistically, just looking at it, common sense says something's not right here. You know what? You're exactly right, Caitlin. Something isn't right. Half the country still doesn't believe in a virus that their idolized president's poor handling of killed a quarter of a million Americans. Yes. I don't think Biden. I think it's all a lie. What do you guys think? What? The what votes still aren't counted. Yeah. What do you crazy. think? I think it's crazy. Is he, it acceptable? He thinks, it's crazy. he thinks I know his face. He's like good, you know. His vote wasn't counted. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. They're vote, they can vote uh, dead people. I'm sure his vote was counted. <laughs> the whole dead voter thing has been proven false about ten times over at this point. But I applaud your effort, Caitlin. What do you guys think? Is this acceptable for an American election? Yes, I do think that a demonstration of democracy is acceptable for a democratic election. But there's one side that has said we want legal votes to count. The other side is saying all votes should count. So here's another shitty fallacy. So I suppose she's alluding to how Democrats want mail-in votes to count, aka legal votes. It really seems like conservatives are the ones who don't want all legal votes to count, considering how they can't stop whining about mail-in ballots. Well, you know, it's really interesting that in these big cities that came out for Joe Biden and, and uh, you know, reversed the, the lead that Trump was having, None of them voted down ballot. They only voted for Joe Biden. And all of a sudden, they're not voting for House, Senate, local races. Oh my god, people didn't vote for all Democrat or all Republican on their ballots? Must be voter fraud. Definitely not just educated people who don't just vote by party. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's just, it's interesting. It's interesting because how is it we're flipping House seats, but Joe Biden is winning the presidency. Um, because that's how elections work, Caitlin. Seven of the last 20 years we have had a divided government with a different party running the house and a different party in office. This is not rare. No one has pulled their hair out or sat on the floor and crapped their pants. Come on now, Caitlin. We can't say no one's crapped their pants, can we? Why do you think they were so quick to determine Joe Biden as the president, even though they can't seem to count the Because he won the electoral votes. Oh, he gets 290 compared to 214. Uh, yeah, that's that's how you win the presidency. Is this supposed to be an argument? When election night was going on, I do remember that there was some states that were reporting like 10, 50 percent or I think even less. And they automatically turned it blue. So that kind of discourages voters that think, oh, hey, or Joe Biden already won that one. So, you know, I guess they're trying to get people to like not go to vote anymore. Oh, displaying the ballot results like they have for every single election since television has been invented. Oh, but this year it was to hurt Donald Trump. Got it. Well, I feel like every second I watch is one more brain cell that I lose. So I'm going to have to call it here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel grow. I'm trying to hit 2000 subs before the end of the year and we're getting pretty close. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. The election is not suspicious, but do you know what is suspicious? The fact that August the Duck is still not at 2,000 subscribers. If you don't subscribe, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.